Hi, I'm Nova Nelson and I'm a permaculture designer here at this community farm at Goodman Arts Centre. And I'm so pleased to have with us here a true national treasure. She's one of Asia's pioneering modern sculptors. She's also a Singapore Cultural Medallion recipient and she's none other than Han Saipo. Hello Saipo, nice to have you here today. Saipo, I'm very inspired when I walk around with you in this garden and I'm here every day, but you notice the simplest, smallest things, the seed on the ground, the shape of the leaf, the way the fruit petals are, and I feel that nature is so much part of you. Can you tell me how that all began? The nature actually is a part of my life since I was small. When I was small, we live in a village very close to the forest. So everything are very natural. We see only the tree, uh, birds, uh, wildlife surrounding us. Saipo, I've seen you pick up a, a leaf, you pick up a seed, you will point out the fruits to me and the shapes and forms. How do you look at these pieces of beautiful natural elements and then turn them into these sculptures? Nature has a different kind of form and shape because I'm a sculptor, I want to copy exactly the form and shape. I put in my own idea to, for the nature, to see the nature, what I want to speak for, for it right. in my own in, interpretation. I did a uh, last exhibition is uh, called Flora City. So it's a, it, a lot of uh, my pieces are inspired by the leaf. And has the materials also taught you a lot, like, you know, as you work with it? Yeah, the material outside and inside are different. You see, the, the stone outside look perfect, but you walk inside, you see maybe crack or different colour or texture. When you polish the stone, then it turn out the beautiful colour and shine part. So you, you can't realise how beautiful is a stone inside itself. I learned a lot from the nature, from the material, from the skill. I do think a lot of my philosophy and thinking is from the, the way I'm working. I love this, this uh, surrounding uh, environment because we have lots of big trees and now especially we have this little garden. When I walk around, I can get some idea from the, the leaf or from the tree trunk or from the, the fruit. The fruit are small, simple and very organic. And the leaf, the leaf is very interesting. The, the leaf have lots of line and texture and, and the very soft. Then we can bang it and then you see the foam there. <laughs> so it's the simple thing. When you look at it, it can get inspire you as well. You've come a long way. You're in your 70s, you're still doing this. Is there still more art within you that needs to come out? I'm <laughs> getting old. I need to do what I can do. Even now, I still can handle the chainsaw, some simple tools. But it not necessarily must have the strength then can do it. I have the experience. Then I can guide the people, uh, follow my idea to do it. Well, that's so important. So leaving behind all that is in here, in here that you've learned and, and passing it on. Thank you, Saipo, for having this lovely conversation about nature and your work here at the Goodman Community Farm, where the arts, community, food growers and nature converge. <laughs>